Okay, so I heard that Nantes, um, the, the former club of Emilio Salah, Salah um, they demand fifteen million pounds. Fifteen million. Now, as we know, the crash went down, um, and it's very uh, tragic and it's very sad. Um, hearing what happened and and all the rest of it, but Nantes just coming out now to actually say that they actually want the money now. They couldn't even wait until the the whole process of removing the body from the plane is over. What well, all the all the you know the authorities you know clarifying everything, make sure that you know everything's done in a proper way. They couldn't wait until things are done. They're just wanting to say now, oh, we want the money now. Look, I understand that football clubs now run these days as a business. They're a football club first, yes, but there's a, there's a business after. But there's a little thing called integrity. Now, Emilio Salas' family right now are literally just torn apart through for all this, this whole thing. Um, they're overcome with a wave of, of emotions right now that I can't even fathom. You know, so what I'm trying to say, if I'm saying anything, is that respect the family, respect the club, right? And just let them do what they need, let the people need to do what they need to do. And then they can pay the the um, the fees. Now, I mean, just in the last minute or so, I heard that Cardiff will pay Nantes um, the money when the time is right. This is ill timing of them. They can't be demanding money like this because they just... Um, it, it's just not right. Whatever happened to decency? You know, whatever happened to humanity? You know, it's one thing about businesses wanting their money and everything, but there's another when, when, when there's um, a human life involved or human lives, should I say? Let's not forget about the the pilot as well, who who, who uh, was involved in the crash. You know, I can't, I can't even begin to just. <laughs> I'm just angry with the fact how Nantes have done this thing. I'm I'm really annoyed because, you know, they're just demanding this thing, demanding the money, and they think it's okay to just think to yourself, oh, yeah, I just, I just need this money. I need this money now so I can function and everything. Like, listen, I know, I understand that football is a ruthless game sometimes, but, like, in this sort of thing, like sometimes you have to kind of put um, your what you what you what you know, you know your ideals and and everything else aside. You have to put those aside. Think about the family. Think about what what they're going through. As I said, I just don't get it. Why would you want to demand that for? I wouldn't want to demand that if I if I. If I was involved in that sort of thing, I would have actually said to them, no, you're not getting this money until things are actually done in the right way. It will be done in the right time. But you just need to kind of just like hold on for a moment. It's it's, it's a bad taste, you know, in my view as a football fan. And and at the end of the day, this sort of thing just, just it, it needn't happen, you know. Unfortunately, you know, um, Emilio Salah is not going to play football again. He's not going to see his family again, you know. And the family right now, like, um, I'm glad. I'm glad that they never gave up on him, you know, to be able to have this sort of closure. I'm glad. Um, I'm glad that the search has been carried out. I have to say big up to all the people that's crowdfunded to actually resume the search, Um because you know it's it's not right that they they've just done this in the first instance and then they just called off the search. No, they're like they like you know if there was a small chance, if any chance that um, Salah could have been alive, you know you know you, we should do what we can to um, to to resume the search so that that he'd be able to be found. But at least the family gets a little bit of closure on this thing. I know it's heartbreaking for them and I do feel for them. But um, at the end of the day, you know, Nantes, like, I've been bang out of order here. They shouldn't be doing that sort of thing. They shouldn't be coming out to just want to get money, you know. Respect Salah, man. Respect him. Because, you know, at the end of the day, he did play for you guys. 
and and at the same time, right, you have to respect him on, on a human level. I don't get with people like that these days, you know. It's all about money, 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 money. What happened to decency? What happened to respect? You know, Nantes should be ashamed of themselves. <laughs>